Well, I'm speaking to Kelly Leighty, who is a Masters of Environmental Management student at the Nicholas School of the Environment at Duke University. Tell us what we've got here, Kelly, and why you are excited by it. So I am working with a company called WildTrack, who's developing a footprint identification technology to recognize individual cheetahs based on footprints alone. And so they do this by following along a trail of footprints, looking for the left hind footprint, of which I take a picture using a ruler to provide scale for the footprint, and an ID tag. An ID tag to uh, label the footprint, which I will then put liquid through FIT for analysis. Once FIT, um, the footprint is in FIT, what will happen is it should be able to tell us the, um, that this is in fact a cheetah, that it is a male and female, what age class it is in, and if this individual is the same one that is walking down further out, further down the road, or if this is a new individual. I mean, I should comment that um, that these tracks were pretty easy to spot on the road. Um, even even I spotted them. Um, and um, for every uh, time you see a cheetah, you see very very many more footprints. That's true, mostly cats. So this is a extraordinary way of getting a lot of information correctly, um, and um, exciting because FIT footprint identification technology promises to be able to separate the identities of a lot of different individuals. Correct. Um, what are you going to be using these data for as far as you're concerned? Um, so I am doing what I call field validating or field testing of FIT. Up to this point, uh, FIT has been run on captive cheetahs that have uh, been, for the most part, live at Nankuse Wildlife Sanctuary. And they have these perfect footprints where they've walked across very nice sand. The field can't be these perfect nice sand. So I'm testing in the field to see how it works on free roaming cheetahs. Um, so sometimes I don't know the identity or the gender. And then I also am working to see how different substrates deal with footprints. So the substrate is solitaire here is very nice and very uh, this very nice sand holds a footprint very well. Um, other places uh, have much more rocky substrates that don't hold footprints as well. So we'll see how FIT deals with the different substrates. Super. Thanks so much, Kelly.